everybody, welcome back to another Breath of Grade 08 tutorial. This time, I have an interior for Rich's fictional tugboat, the um, Folly class tugboat. So the TSS Land Fair is what he called this one. So this is his original model here. This is what the original thing looks like. However, I changed the outside sign a little bit. I added some slabs for the shear just to make it look a little better, curvier. And I also added an inside. So in my last video, I think I did show this. But I'll give it a little shorter, longer tour now, because last time it was really quick. So starting up here, uh, this is the wheelhouse in the front. So it's got some, um, it's got the steering wheel and the telegrams or whatever they're called. And then also on this deck is uh, just a little deck house for the funnel. So this just has like a whistle and some valves and stuff. Anyway, if you go back down in here, down this staircase, go to the front. And this is just a little meeting area up in the front. You can see there. And then if you keep going back, there's the stairs, and then the stairs down. This is just some funnel casing. And then these are some like cargo holds or some type of hold. I'm not exactly sure what they are, but they hold something. And then it's just a little sitting area over here. And some tables and chairs. Down these stairs is the sleeping quarters. Back here is like a rudder control. And got my typical closet here. And then more closets underneath. So that's that deck. And then if you go up to the front again, you go down this staircase, up in the front, way in the front, you got a little eating area. A little galley or kitchen, whatever you want to call it. A little pantry. Some cabinets, sinks, and shelves, and whatever. You can make that look a bit nicer. And then in here, this is the boiler room. The boiler is absolutely massive compared to the rest of the ship. I'm not entirely sure why, but it just was. That's how, that appears to be how it is. I looked at all these different uh, tugboat blueprints and the boiler is just massive. It's just one big boiler. I guess it's gotta be really strong to pull other big ships around like they do. So anyway, this is the boiler. And you got some like lockers here on the sides some valves if you go down here these can all open like that and then just got some sitting areas over here and then back here it's a coal bunker and this little area down here is a like um, ballast tank control as you can see, coal bunker, and then way up in the front, this would be a chain locker for the anchors on the sides. And you keep going back here. There's these little cargo holds which go all the way down. So you got one, two, three of them. And these are the engines. So it's just some, uh, uh, it's dual two pi piston engines like that fill that hole in too and then the next section next area back here this is just a um this is just another ah just another what do you call it ballast tank control so, it's 
pretty cool. Old tugboat Rich made. So head back on up and get out. So here's the tutorial ship. So like I said before, there's a few little uh, some slabs put in here just for the um just to make the shear look a little bit better. I also added some like stairs and slabs in the front white part. But anyway, so I have so this is it. So to start off, you take this cyan terracotta and you just fill in the entire bottom with cyan terracotta. So fill cyan terracotta fill in here. And in the front here too. It's already filled in. And then the shear actually changes all these decks in the on the decks down here too. Although there's not many of them. So also bring your propellers through. You can see through here they do line up with the propellers. So just bring those through. So after you have the main bottom part in, after that, um, there's a little raised part back here. It's like the engine room is the floor is a little bit lower. But back here, go from the very back block that you can a block up from this like that. And go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And then put that out in the put that out to the left and right. And then fill that in. Like that. And then behind that, get some smooth quartz blocks. And just build like a bulkhead. So it it's sort of like a bulkhead. It's kind of just a wall. It's not like a full bulkhead, but it's more of just a wall that goes through the entire uh, hull. So just build that out to the sides and up and around. You can fill it in around the propeller shafts too. We'll eventually add the doors and whatever through them, but not right now. So also in this bulkhead, so th so this would be like the main deck up there. So if you go f to the fourth block down from that, one, two, three, four, this part is just normal. So you can just put the deck outline in here. So in this next bulkhead, um, uh, go from th that block there. And so leave a 10 block space and add another bulkhead here also the propeller shafts could come out to one block before the bulkhead like that and the engines will go around them Just fill that in there we go and then leave a two block space but actually before that so behind this bulkhead uh, you're just gonna wanna fill in the next like sheer deck so this one is 11 blocks long so the one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and fill those in So there's another sheer deck. So two blocks from this bulkhead. Build another bulkhead here. Let's fill it all in. So there's that. And then three blocks from that. Build another bulkhead. So 
so and then after that leave a four block space so one two three four and put in another bulkhead so you should have the deck ending here and then go like two out and take out that block and then you should add this bulkhead Fill that in. So there's that. And then after that, you have the main floor down here. Just go at the second block up from that, right here. So behind this bulkhead, just put in the next deck and this one is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen blocks of cyan terracotta so you can fill that in and then after that you're gonna want to add a line of smooth quartz block here and this is where decks start to get more confusing. So go from there and get your oak slab. And start on the top here and go two. Go up half a block and add three. And then add full blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven full blocks. And go up half a block and do two slabs. And then full block and that goes on for all the way up to the front like that so it's just kind of as an extra deck here because of the shear that's where the ballast tanks would go so don't fill in that deck yet because things will go under it but from this line of smooth quartz here you're going to want to leave a 16 block gap so on the 17th you're going to want to add the um add the forward peak tank so you can just bring that out and this goes up three blocks only three blocks and then all the way to the front so you can just fill in at the bottom like this that and then fill in the top so that's the peak tank and then there's kind of one back here it's really just where these two are stacked on top of each other it's just a really small type of peak tank but it works so after you fill this in you can actually go ahead and take your oak planks and fill in this little area like that and also where this, um, uh, what do you call it, again, forward peak tank, you can bring that up so you have the oak planks here. You can probably actually replace those ones with what, smooth quartz and then bring those all the way up in smooth quartz like this. Just get all that filled in. There we go. So that's all that done. And then for the next deck up, you have this white line here. Go to the fourth block up and add another white line across. And this is just another bulkhead that goes all the way up. So you can fill this all the way in. And then at the bottom of that white block, the smooth quartz, just add uh, an outline of trapdoors around this square area here, like I've already done. Very simple. After that, you're going to want to go behind this, really in front of the smooth quartz, and go to half a block up and add your outline of slabs. 
slaps here too, I suppose. Did I? Yeah, I did. Okay. So go to the that block up, and then go two slabs here, and then go make a full block on top of that, and the forward one, and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven full blocks. And actually, no. After that, place three slabs here, and then go up half a block and put two, half a block and put two slabs. And you can bring that around too, like that. Bring this over. And then this would be the, um, uh, that would be the chain locker. So back over here, the reason it goes up a block like this is because there's a big old wall here. So I suppose you can make that a bulkhead. So just fill in this area with planks, fill in a line of planks there, and then put this bulkhead slash wall in. So I think this is going to be like a simple like five part tutorial, maybe even less than that. Because I mean it's pretty small, but at the same time it's way bigger than the cow shot over there. So yeah, this. This will take a couple of parts. So once you've done that, um, you can. Yeah, once you've done that, you can. On the main decks here, this main deck. Uh, so you have. You probably just have all the oak planks outlining the uh, black concrete here. So what you're going to want to do is go from the front here. Just have the outline. Would be just having the outline would be nice. And then I go four blocks back with oak planks. One, two, three, four. Add a slab under the last one. And then add a oak plank behind that. And on top of that, add an oak slab. And then after that, do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more oak planks two oak slabs go down half a block two oak slabs and then one two three four five oak planks go down half a block one two three oak slabs go down half a block two oak slabs and then go one two three four five six planks go down half a block three oak slabs down half a block three oak slabs, one, two, three, four, five, six oak planks, down half a block, go three, down half a block, go three, and then down a block, so all these, the rest of that is just oak planks all the way back. So that is really all the outline for those decks done on the quote unquote bulkheads. So that's quite simple short but it takes a bit of time and also I do want to show some other things so the cow shot there I've also made these little yachts these custom yachts so these are my own design I made them for some friends at school which is now out it ended today yay from I'm out of ninth grade now yay so I have a couple of them built right here. So this one I built first, this pink and gold one. So it took me a couple of days. So you have, starting up at the top, I'll give some tours through these. Up in the top you got the wheelhouse. So you got a steering wheel, telegrams. And then in here are lifeboats, inflatable lifeboats. And then there's this big old like, even call it um, fin. I don't know why it's there, but it just seems to be on most yachts. So I have that there. But anyway, if you go down these stairs, this goes down to the next deck. This just has some seats, and tables, chairs, and tables. 
and there's a little area we can go in and out of these doors which go around the stairs so you got an indoor pool and an indoor hot tub and an outdoor pool with a little covering on it and then that's not actually a cargo hatch here I figured that since these sidewalls if you use smooth quartz stairs those would kinda look like benches so I just have this here as like a footrest or something so if you go around if you go down these stairs uh, the outside stairs we got an outdoor fire pit here and then inside the indoor eating area that's right I forgot the one up here so back up here actually this is an outdoor eating area and in here it's just a little like loft area with some couches around the walls so that's after the um, chairs and tables so after that go back in so you got the eating area and then in here these areas this is just a little hallway and it has a storage room in the middle so that's pretty nifty these stairs just go up to the next deck up indoor stairs this is a look like a little living room area it's got a footrest and couches TV in here it's just more storage underneath those stairs this is the kitchen over here, you got a walk-in pantry. Yeah. In here, these are just stairwells down to the next deck. But through this door, this is a little hallway for pool maintenance. So you got maintenance for the hot tub and hot maintenance for the outdoor pool. And then this is just another stairwell down so go down to the next deck we start all the way up in the front this is the chain locker for the anchors in the front so those would go down and around these windlasses I believe that's what they're called but anyway in here this is a bedroom so you got some beds and a uh, dresser or table or something Behind that is a bathroom. It's got like a toilet, sink, and a shower. And then you got another one of these over here. Just a bedroom, another bathroom. In here is just more storage. Over here on the sides are little office areas, desk space. And then in here. This, uh, for this ship, for this yacht, really, uh, this one is a ba has a basketball court here, but you can really have it to whatever you want. So, like, the that one over here, the Magenta one, has a volleyball court instead. And my yacht is going to have a, um, my, mine, which is blue, it's way over there. It has a, um, it's gonna have a movie theater. Another one of my friends is going to have a golf course. So you can really just have this do whatever you want. Go down these stairs, just got some say, like uh, benches, and then some storage for your basketballs or volleyballs or something on the sides. Back here, this is an arcade. So you just got some simple arcade machines. And then over on the sides in here these are the engines this is really the engine room so you got the so you've got some to the telegrams again and then on the sides these are the actual engines with the big old gray things you got like a thruster here and then this would is actually called a universal joint so it would if you have an axle that's a little lower and a little higher you can use two universal joints and it'll actually 
if this one's turning, then it'll turn the one up here too. If that sounds complicated to you, just look it up, really. I think it has support there. And then in the middle, this is a like an electric generator. The um, turbo generator. Uh, it's really based off of the Queen Mary's, but it's quite simple. And then the gas tank is back here, and just got the walkways up here. That's really that entire yacht. That's not all though. I have more to show. So I have a wrecked model too, which I'm working on. So it's pretty cool. This is your Chisosa Seagull. You gotta move some ships around so the outlines can be a bit weird. But over here, this is the USS Arizona, which I spent way too long on. I tried to get all the details right, so it's quite a very nice looking ship, so there'll be a tutorial for that someday. But I just have a lot more things to work on right now. And then this is the Edmund Fitzgerald, which I'm currently working in on an interior for. So on the inside, fly over to the inside. You can see you got the little tunnels on the sides here, and then I got some. I got the uh, cargo hatches put in in here. And then back here, I've got all the ballast tanks put in down here. It's, I think I think this might be a gas tank for the engine room here. I'm not sure though. I'd have to check all this. I've barely even started. So out of here. There you go. So it's quite a nice little ship interior. Finally doing like a big ship interior. Did the little cow shot, did a little tugboat, but finally getting to something big for an interior for. But anyway, uh, there's one more thing, I think two more things, which I'll show. So. It's taken a while. Um, we fly over here. We got the Queen Mary. So, the Queen Mary, I've gotten quite a bit of progress on. Actually, I've started putting in deck plans, deck walls. The tutorial recording has, of course, begun. And there's a few things that need to be changed with the bulkheads here. But you, you'll see in the um, uh, in the tutorials. So, we've got some outlines here for some deck planes and machines and stuff. And then more in here and here. Now, it might look complicated right now, but trust me, it, Pipkin will make it look easy. Pipkin will make it look really easy. And then we've got some deck planes copied out here. And. One of the things is the automatic bulkhead. So, step on it. It's lagging. Lagging a lot. Like that. And then up in the front, there's more decks I've copied out. But over here, I'll show you what I've gotten done so far. Um, I have. So, I haven't put the engines back in yet, because I think there's some things that need to be done first. But in here, these are just um, little ladders up to the next deck. Uh, in here, this is refrigeration machinery. And this is the uh, port shaft alley tunnel or something like that. So that goes all the way across. 
down to the very end from here and then in here you can see the automatic bulkhead there's the um, uh, what do you call it whatever it is again these are just some valves and whatnot thing again for the uh, sewage thing over here you have the starboard little starboard shaft alley so that's all in here pretty cool and then up on the next deck I've gotten all this done really uh, should probably get into spectator mode so I have you can see I've gotten all these rooms in I have the signs labeled I haven't just I haven't put in any details yet though so like I've got these elevators and you can put in here and here and here elevators very tall elevators and the pool and the deck below and yeah it's just been a lot of progress Our elevators so it's pretty going along pretty well in the front I've also done quite a bit of work which I could probably actually show you the copied model over here so just to make things a little easier so you got I've got some um, well actually if I fly back inside uh, this is the tank top down here so we've got the chain locker deep tank cargo cargo and then this is the um, water softening plant which I've basically had to come up entirely with because there's one picture of it and one little blueprint of it so oh, most of this is just most of this is just made up but that's the best we can get so it works and also next deck up is we've got just cargo here whatever cargo cargo yeah so that is the Queen Mary progress and finally the last thing I'll show for today is our progress on the Empress of Ireland here so Pipkin is planning on posting these videos this Friday uh, she's playing supposed part one this Friday so we've got the tank top done so in here we got a chain locker and then these are, I think these would just be like storage or something in here are just some um, we're having a bit of controversy in there but we've okay so we had a bit of a problem there would really just be an extra deck in here but it doesn't really matter it just got a little bit confusing reading some deck plans but it's all good now and then there'd be the same thing in here and so and in here and so this is the boiler rooms which we basically had to come up with ourselves again another boiler room and then in here we got better engines these are definitely better than the ti old titanics that Pipkin made so these are quite nice in here it's just tunnels you seem to have more storage done oh, what even is this crew toilets interesting so we've gotten all that done and then we've also got some accommodations done in here And then this is in here would um, so in here this would uh, usually we originally had it as cargo and we found out it was crew accommodate not crew accommodations it was uh, steerage accommodations and I guess she changed it back so um, yeah 
um, then storage, cargo, whatever. So, I guess it's going along very well. Deck plans aren't very clear, but we've gotten along pretty far. So, that's very nice. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.